kind of a shooter nonetheless. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just saw the preview image. Uh, this is... Tasmania. It'll pack men in. No, it'll pack everyone in. That's a bad slogan to have on your, uh... On your flyer. No, I'm not gonna make it to, to MAGFest this year, unfortunately. Tasmania, not to... Not to be confused with the Looney Tunes characters. Got two Zs, so please don't sue. Just like Apocalypse now. Um, this is a game where you're a horrible creature with a gun. What does it say here? Uh, player moves hip shooting Tasmania around each room via the newly improved joystick. The object of the game is to kill as many of the attackers as possible. By pressing the fire button, which also shoots rapid fire when held down. Uh, hoppers, nasties, bonus rooms, smart bombs. In the eyeball room, stay out of the middle of the room. In the sickle room, the sickles key off your movement when not shooting. In the caterpillar room, stay off the walls. The caterpillars turn into butterflies and fly around the room. In the cyclotron room, the cyclotrons won't move with you until you shoot the way off... Wait. Won't move until you shoot. They key off your movement when shooting. Faces and hoppers are very smart. Butterflies are average smart. When in doubt, smart bomb. <laughs> well, it's nice of them to give me some... Uh, uh, some game pro pro tips before I start playing. Tasmania. Does this have clone sets? Oh god, it does. <laughs> yeah, you're straight up killing enemies. <laughs> Man. He's got butt cheeks, too. He has very detailed butt cheeks. It's another Chris Oberth game. Pull stick for instructions. Scoring goes as follows. That's a lot of enemies. Use a joystick to run around the room to shoot, press the fire button, aim with the joystick, hold down the fire button for rapid fire. When all the little hoppers are gone, the door's at the top of the bottom of the room will... Ah! I was reading that. Points and bombs. You can use the bombs in any of the other rooms. The bombs do two things. First, they kill all the attacking enemy. Second, they stop the crushing walls. What are my buttons? Okay, they're mapped. Stern proudly presents. Alright. Look at those butt cheeks. So when you hold the button down, it freezes you in place. It's kind of like Berserk. <laughs> Walls are closing in. Gotta shoot the nasties and get out. There we go. You have cleared another room! You can't say another room. That was the first room I cleared. Alright. Oh god. Hmm. Well, at least you don't have, like, ammo that has to reload, right? It's just automatic rapid fire. Bonus room! Oh, my bomb! Alright, we gotta go. I assume you can die in the bonus room. Oh, these guys are... Are these guys average smart? How smart are they? They're squids. 
Oh, they're pushing the blocks around just to make it like harder to get them. Prepare yourself for the sickle room. The bonus items just being numbers feels lazy. Yeah, kinda. Ah! Alright, kinda getting my ass beat here. I keep thinking like I can... <laughs> it's like Contra and I can like aim in between the two angles. If I mash it. Alright, that was a... That was a bad credit. Let's try that again. I got this. I understand what I'm doing now. You have cleared another room. I guess if you know those enemies are bouncing, just get out of their trajectory. Go, go. Oh, that's worth all. Yeah, the bonus room is where you get all the points, huh? Also, I assume you die when you run into these things. I know the, en the other enemies kill you. Yeah, all the points come from the bonus room. Are we the bad guy? I don't know, it's kill or be killed. Be tough, or be dead, big guy. Oh yeah, I have bombs. I should use my bombs. Prepare yourself for the caterpillar room. They turn into butterflies, you know. Shit. They're pushing this shit around. Bombs over there. Calypso has not been covered now. Ah, this is this is more satisfying than Lost Tomb at least. Still kind of sucks though. It's at least just aim and shoot. Ugh. I feel like you have you have more of a chance to actually shoot stuff in this game than you do in Lost Tomb. Oh, I see. These enemies don't... Oh. And that does kill you. Okay. I used a bomb and then I ran into the... <laughs> okay, I, I can definitely do better than that. One more try. I made the Tasmaniacs Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's certainly, it's certainly no Robotron in the end. Like, it certainly feels like it would have been inspired by it. But it's not... It's not a twin-stick game. It is kind of weird that you have you just have this quota for every stage of of shit just sitting there. 
that you have to kill. And there's Bongoitis on the bombs. Also, oh my god. It feels hard to, like, hit these things with the bullets sometimes. Your bullets are really tiny. See what I mean? So it's, like, kind of... It's kind of lacking in some satisfaction there. Oh my god. I'd say it's better than Lost Tomb, but not by much. It looked easy originally, but then you realize just how small your, your projectiles are. Like, this game's gonna be easy. You have automatic rapid fire. And it's like, oh, but I can't fucking hit anything. Everybody's coming for my fat ass. What was it with Stern and fucking tiny ass bullets? <laughs> Between this and the rescue. trying to get the extend. Yeah, how did I miss the enemy there? I was shooting right at it. You fucker! It's so hard to pick these up. Oh god, oh god! About to squish that fat ass. So these enemies can't be killed, they just keep moving. Unless you do that. This would be the time to use bombs. Distance, PB. Prepare yourself for the Cyclotron Room. That's a lot of shit to shoot. Also, it's kind of unsatisfying how, like, most of the stuff you... you shoot isn't really worth that much in the way of points. Like, all the points in this game come from the bonus rooms. Not all of it, but a lot of it. You know what I mean? Prepare yourself for that Taz room! Oh, there they, there they are! The Tazes. They're like kind of bongo colored. But they got purple shoes. He's murdering his bongo clones! Oh yeah, they're whammies. Only somebody would let me know if this was ever a prize on The Price is Right. Wait, that's a different show. God, it is so hard to pick up these numbers! Now I'm in the hopper room. There's so much shit! Can you not kill these guys? Oh my god. Okay. I'm in for it now. This is what you save bombs for, I guess. Yo, this is... absurd. The Super Face Room!
Oh, it's back to stage one, okay. But these guys are way more aggressive. And there's more of them. Why can't I hit this thing? Um, walls are closing in. Well, I picked up a few extra lives at least. I guess that's why enemies aren't worth much in the way of points, because then you could kind of leech a little bit. But then again, you can't stay on these stages forever. A super evil eyeball room. Oh, this is this is getting tedious. <laughs> So these later levels have have more objects you have to shoot to clear it, but there's also more enemies, so that just slows you down. It's getting a little too hard. Really important to get those bombs. the DVD screensavers. Oh god. <laughs> See, like, I was shooting down right the entire time, and I still got, like, tagged in the head. It feels bad. Boy, it's really important to get those bombs. A lot of shit. Super squid. Yeah, get them all in get them all in columns that I can shoot. Like that. Nice. enemies, but it's got uh, evil eyeballs or something. I mean, they put in a lot of a lot of enemy types, at least. There's a little bit of variety. Bonk. It's got ass cheeks. <laughs> Dude's all caked up on a Monday night. Ow! There's another enemy in there. It's just so hard to actually make progress sometimes, because it takes so long shooting the enemies, and then more spawn in. Eh. <sighs> well. Oops. Still more fun than, than Lost Tomb, I think. How do I go back? I can't rub? Right. So many different ways to enter in initials. Yeah, I don't know what I think about this. <laughs> It's better than Lost Tomb, but that was a very, a very low bar.
yeah, this game certainly... It's less ambitious. Although they are, like, desperately hoping... Hoping these enemy types take off, I think. All your favorite characters, like the eyeballs and the squids and the, uh... The, the DVD screensavers. They didn't even have DVDs back then. He went back to 1982 and showed them a logo bouncing around the screen. Man. Blow their fucking minds. Yeah, the whammies. And your dude has butt cheeks, that's worth something. I think that's worth something. If this game did have Chameleon, man, I bet he would be easier to kill. Well, no, chat gave it a three? Mm. Yeah, alright. I'd say it's like maybe straddling the line between a two and a three, but I can I can go three. It's not F Lee tier. <laughs> Damn, we're still saying that. How long are we gonna be saying that? Can we can we get rid of that by by the next stream? I sure hope so. Congrats to Tasmania for being better than it. Than the amazing adventures of Mr. Effley.